And as for the last story, two bomb explosions and a rocket attack have killed at least 31 people in northeast Nigeria. Officials saying that the explosions targeted people returning from Adel Fet celebrations in Borno State. Following the bombings, attackers fired rocket-propelled grenades into the crowds that had gathered at the scene of the blast. A new group has claimed responsibility for the attacks, but authorities usually blame similar acts of violence on Boko Haram. The terrorist group's militancy has left tens of thousands dead in Nigeria and neighboring countries since 2009. Uh, from Douala, joining me is Alex Powers with Veterans Today Africa. Uh, good to have you with us, sir. Do you think this is another job of the Boko Haram in you know, heating the hitting the crowd of people who have gathered at the site of the incident? No, I mean honestly, I don't think so because on one of the most um, popular ho Muslim holidays, I, I don't believe that uh, fellow Muslims would do that to their own people. Uh, so as, as Veterans Today has been reporting for years and other uh, Nigerian journalists have been reporting, we, we firmly believe that uh, there's intel agencies using false flag attacks and blaming or, or, or taking credit as Boko Haram uh, in order to increase the military presence, foreign military presence, particularly the United States, into these regions. Here in Cameroon, for example, we have uh, military, U.S. military drone bases here under the premise of protecting the Cameroonians for, uh, against Boko Haram. And as I've reported before, uh, the Africans throughout Africa, particularly Cameroon and Nigeria and West Central Africa, did not want American military boots on the ground here for many years. And then all of a sudden, Boko Haram pops up. But I believe the real reason is that there's a major pipeline going through that northern region, and these oil companies want military presence there. And I think that uh, foreign governments are hiring mercenaries or using their own, their own people to cause these attacks. I, I just, I don't see how uh, Muslims Fellow Muslims would one treat them, you know, their other, their own, their own people this way, and especially during uh, during Eid, it, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Okay, and uh, whatever form of militancy, and I mean, violence is still there. And uh, how long? How much longer do you think this will be plaguing this country? I don't see. I, it's the same thing with, um, you know, you have these rebel groups in Syria and Iraq. I, these these groups are probably going to stick around for a long time. They're financed by uh, international groups. There's no way that these local militias or uh, terrorist organizations could be financed locally. It, it's it's not it's not it's not really feasible. The weapon systems they have are not local based. Uh, they they come from outside of Nigeria in this particular case. So I think that uh, I think that you're going to continue to see this until because the the bottom line is is that if these attacks stop, there's no need for the Americans or other governments to be, uh, militaries to be in Africa, particularly in this central west zone of Nigeria, Cameroon. So if these attacks all of a sudden stop and this, and this problem ends, well, why do the U.S. military have to be here? They don't. They don't need their drone bases anymore. So I, I don't see an end to it, and I think it will continue, and it's really a tragedy, and I, I wish that uh, more of the international community would really start asking hard questions like Press TV does. And why should the U.S. boots be present there? That, that's a major question. What's their agenda? Well, they want military bases throughout Africa for a number of reasons. Number one, they don't want a unified military, African military. If you go back to the 70s, the United States actually got run out. The U.S. government, U.S. military was run out by Nigerian military. The last thing they want is a united African military because then they don't need the American military. And two, just like everything else with the U.S., they want to have their bases everywhere so that they can have their presence and inflict uh, their, their influence. And I also think that there is this pipeline that goes back to why they attacked Libya, why Syria was attacked. There's this pipeline that's running through Nigeria that is supposed to be, uh, you know, supposed to be the premier new pipeline. And I think that has something to do with it as well. I mean, anytime oil's involved, 
you have these uh, military militia attacks and you have these rebel groups pop up everywhere. So it's, it's unfortunately quite sad. And I mm -hmm. personally, it's quite tragic. All right, I appreciate your perspective and insight. Alex Bowers, Veterans Today, Africa.